When we start an innovation project or a product development, we always ask two questions. One, how can we maximize CO2 reduction at minimal costs? And two, how can we contribute to customer value? Hence, for further development of electric drive, we consider the CO2 cost benefit relevance at the highest system level, the vehicle or even beyond the vehicle. In our illustration that you also saw with Stefan von Truckmann, you can see that the additional costs in euros to, expect, to be expected for 2025, according to our calculations, and which CO2 reductions will be possible in each case, we have considered different PHEVs and BEFs designs in a conventional C-segment vehicle. And the fraction measured in euro per gram CO2 can be read off the dotted lines. So for example, for a, BHEV, uh, for a BEF with a range of 500 kilometers and a corresponding reduction of 120 grams CO2, the additional costs or absolute costs of the drive are approximately 7,000 euros. And we assume the battery price of approximately 8,700 euros minus a combustion engine with 1,500 uh, 1, euros, less the gearbox and adding an electric motor. Thus, the relative costs are 60 euros per gram. In comparison, the absolute costs for a PF vehicle are lower. The relative costs for a PF with 80 kilometers range are only about 40 euros per gram. Here we estimated the battery costs for the year 2025 depending on the battery system size. So we're considering the fact that a large battery is cheaper per kilowatt hours than a smaller PHEV battery. When it comes to avoiding CO2 emissions during vehicle use, the most important factors are the efficiency of the powertrain and the pure electrical range. This applies equally, of course, to BEFs and PHEVs. This is our greatest goal in the further development of e-mobility, efficiency in the powertrain and, above all, in the complete e-vehicle system. And after all, the efficiency of electric drive technology is not or hardly perceived today as a reduction in energy costs. Today's electric drive technology is already a very different technology per se. However, in addition to the optimization of a hybrid or a fully electric drive component, it is above all the optimization of the overall system that offers great potential for increasing efficiency. When it comes to avoiding CO2 emissions during vehicle use, the most important factors are the efficiency of the powertrain and the purely electrical range. This applies equally to BEF and PF. This is our greatest goal in further development of e-mobility, the efficiency in the powertrain, above all, in the complete e-vehicle system. After all, the efficiency is not only perceived as uh, a drive technology, but also as a reduction in energy costs. The key to large-scale transformation to electric mobility are higher ranges and lower costs through even more efficient systems. To achieve this, we understand the e-drive as a complete system and optimize the interaction of the individual components in a holistic way. We are working together very intensively in interdisciplinary teams worldwide to further optimize ZF's eDrive solutions. Here we are talking about uh, over 50 innovation projects in the field of e-mobility, each of which, which is measured at the CO2 reduction and at the minimal cost for it. We are working on further improving the electric drive, for example, in cooling, acoustics, transmission materials used, lightweight construction, and much more. Here we see ourselves in a unique position coming from our experience in electric axle drive systems, which we combine with our systems competence for complex interrelationships in the entire vehicle and its networking with the environment. And contrary to the often heard opinion that the electric drive is already perfect, we still see a lot of potential here that we want to leverage with our expertise. In series produced passenger cars, we already see the potential for efficiency optimization in the overall system of an e-vehicle at up to 13% compared to the current benchmark system on the market. These figures that you see here are based on our internal design cycles 
which have significantly higher requirements than those of the WLTC and, in our view, are closer to the customer reality. Among other things, we are currently working on the future electric vehicle drive, which uses innovative semiconductors, an e-machine winding and sheet metal technologies. Optimized transmission arrangements also help to reduce losses so that more than 5% efficiency in range can be achieved in the entire e-drive. If you leave the world of the electric drive alone and include adjacent components and systems in the optimization, further improvements are even possible. Chassis and drive components, such as a contactless brake, e-leveling, or a disconnect module, which discouples the electric drive in an efficiency-saving manner, for example, when sailing, work particularly well in the system with an intelligent anticip anticipation strategy, so that a further 8% range improvement can be achieved. So with this holistic system approach, we have BEFs to achieve greater efficiency and range. Also, digitalization helps us not only to further develop the drive, but also to create new business models. And I'll come to that later. I will now give a detailed outlook on the key components of the electric drivetrain, the e-drive itself, and the power electronics. We already offer the current generation of our electric axle drives in various performance variants. A further improved version will go into serious production in two years, 2022. In the future, we will also offer a complete modular system for e-axles to meet the various customer requirements. With a modular kit for electric axle drives, we are rearranging passenger car drive technology. We also see 400 volts as the basis for volume applications and 800 volts in the premium segment. The power classes range in three main segments from under 80 kilowatt to over 150 kilowatt. And with it, a family of e-axles we can serve every purpose that a car manufacturer or a user may have. Two short ranges and two long charging times are still the main reasons why many end customers decide against an electric car. And we saw uh, the, the reviews before of how many people would like to have a BEV but do not actually decide to purchase one. Accordingly, improving these two criteria is one of the key factors when it comes to increasing social acceptance of electric mobility. The semiconductor material silicon carbide has emerged as a promising option for use in power electronics. Silicon carbide-based inverters allow significantly higher efficiency than the previously common silicon at the same performance level, thus enabling a 5 to 7% increase in range. At the same time, their high efficiency makes them ideal for use in electric drives, uh, uh, drives with an 800 volt grid. With this technology, charging times can be almost halved compared to the previous 400 volt structures. At a voltage of 800 volts, less than 20 minutes are required to almost completely charge even a battery capacity of 90 kilowatt hours. So the charging time goes down to what you usually spend at a fueling station. In order to make electric cars more suitable for everyday use in the perception of end customers, ZF makes use of this, this decisive advantages and focuses on the development of 800 volt power electronics with silicium carbide uh, semiconductors. And the market proof is right. If I would have asked uh, any uh, vehicle manufacturer or any user two years ago, even two years ago, three years ago, almost nobody would have voted for a silicon carbide technology. Today, uh, three quarters of all us said, well, yes, we need it. And there's only about 10% left that would still say, no, we don't need silicon carbide technology. The design of fast charging points also speaks for this development. And we benefit from our early experience. ZF will bring the first silicon carbide power electronics into serious production as early as 2022. In this important field of technology, we are also following the successful ZF path. We use the competencies of leading companies and strategic partnerships, but act as lead developer and a system integrator for the manufacturers. So it's a win-win situation for our partners and for ZF. Together with Danfoss, we are making silicon carbide power modules for demanding conditions more durable and increasing their efficiency. 
The basis is an 800 volt power module which will position ourselves at the top of this segment. For these power modules, power semiconductors will be used which are developing, which were developing in cooperation with the semiconductor specialist Cree. Through these strategic partnerships, which build on each other, and above all the resulting products, we are advancing electromobility considerably. A good example for the optimization of the overall system efficiency is provided by Formula E. And we have early on, uh, very early on already used silicon carbide in these uh, technologies and these systems. There, all teams are on the road with one unit battery, with the same amount of energy and the same battery power. Higher efficiency means being fast and still being able to cross the finish line at the end. It's the utmost competitive advantage. Within the scope of the cooperation with Mahindra, ZF is responsible for the development of the entire drive system. In the coming season, this holistic approach will enable even greater efficiency and power density at the same weight as well as improved recuperation. In power electronics, we used silicon carbide as a semiconductor for the first time last season. Chipsets made of silicon carbide can be designed 10 times thinner than their current silicon counterparts, resulting in lower internal resistance. As a result, the efficiency of the inverter or drivetrain and thus the range of electric vehicles increases by up to 7%. ZF has also developed a method for indirect determination of the semiconductor temperature, which allows the cost-intensive chips to be designed for maximum performance. And as you may know, uh, the, the thermal behavior and security, safety, is one of the most uh, important key parameters in an electric vehicle. As one of the first suppliers, we will not only use 800 volt power electronics in Formula E and offer them for commercial vehicles, but also launch a standalone solution for passenger cars. Alongside electromobility, automated driving is the second field of technology in which we are continuing to invest massively. The combination of environment sensors, such as cameras, radars, leaders, real-time traffic data, and an intelligent powertrain offers further efficiency potential for e-vehicles of up to 16%. With model predictive control, or short MPC, an intelligent anticipatory vehicle interacts much more efficiently with the traffic flow and its surroundings. Traffic jams or red lights, for example, are detected early and used for regenerative braking. Sailing on gentle gradients and flat stretches is very efficient. Semi-automated driving functions also control the electric drivetrain more efficiently than drivers without this support. And real-time real -time traffic data contribute to the most energy efficient route guidance. We had test drivers compete against the preview function on a comparison lab. They had to drive the round once as efficiently as possible, once as comfortably as possible, and once as fast as possible, as you can see on the chart. The result, the MPC function was always more efficient. The average energy consumption of the human control driving strategy was even 29% higher. Thirdly, software connectivity and networking also enables new business models. Software solutions develop their potential best when they are based on equally smart and sustainable hardware. So for example, the networked eDrive the intelligent e axle drive, IE axle as we call it, allows the activation of additional functions via cloud connection. For this purpose, it transmits data on the status and use of the drive to different users. IE axle thus opens up a whole range of new business models. In the future, not only OEMs, but also ride hailing and mobility as a service provider will increasingly be among our customers. They will use the opportunities offered by digitalization in completely different ways. We therefore wanted to ensure that our e-drives are not only technically leading, but also offer additionally uh, added value through digital services and are therefore ready for all vehicle architectures platform or new business model that may come around. Through a bi-directional connection to an IoT platform, the IE Excel connects data on the drive and parking brake detects overvoltages and overcurrent, measures acceleration values, and monitors the temperature of the electric machine and power electronics. 
At the same time, power electronics and inverters, which act as the brain of the drive, can be directly controlled via this connection. In addition, software updates for the vehicle and drivetrain can be downloaded wirelessly over the air, saving expensive and time-consuming workshop visits. Networking with the cloud enables also a whole range of new services. Looking at the potential application of an IE axle, there's something for everyone. For example, car manufacturers can analyze the individual driving behavior of end customers and offer customized warranty conditions that reward responsible driving. And algorithms for predictive maintenance, planning, detect malfunctions early on, and reduce downtime for fleet operators considerably. The collected driving data helped ZF developers to design new e-drives, specifically for the real requirements of road traffic. And the pay per X function gives rental cars companies the option of staggering their rates according, for example, to the maximum speed driven. And the drivers themselves also benefit from the network drive. They can book additional functions via app, for example, additional torque which provides more power for driving with a trailer or more driving dynamics on weekend trips. Digitally supported systems such as IE Axle are the basis on which platforms for novel operating models can be built. A decisive basis is the open ZF IoT platform based on Microsoft Azure. It enables new digital services to be implemented and hardware systems to be used efficiently through data analysis and intelligent algorithms. We ourselves are increasingly using this platform to develop functions for automated driving and electromobility. This helps us to accelerate innovation and agility as it offers enormous resources in data storage and processing as well as computational power. One uh, aspect is a digital twin and increasing uh, virtual validation as well. The bi-directional data flow from and to the ZF cloud, including OTA readiness over the air updates, enables a variety of digital use cases and digital business models for end customers, OEMs and fleet managers. By 2025, all our products will be networked. And this will enable, for example, remote diagnosis for efficient service and high availability of all our components and systems. Here is an example for our fleet management. ZF has networked uh, in his Openmatics in-house telematics end-to-end -end platform with the cloud. In this way, e-vehicle fleets, for example, can be managed together with the associated charging stations. Operators can track and evaluate the location and condition of their vehicles in the real time. With intelligence and analysis tools such as predictive maintenance, the wear and tear of individual vehicle components can be monitored so that maintenance appointments can be scheduled early and downtime costs minimized. This means we are already in serious production. The Dutch bus manufacturer, for example, VDL, is using the technology to provide a complete overview of the economy and condition of its vehicles whether it's diesel or electric buses. However, new digital business models will only come possible and above all convenient when the large number of transactions involved are carried out automatically and securely. This is where car e-wallet comes into play. Whether at the charging station, in a multi-story car park or at the toll station, the car e-wallet is our innovative digital assistant in the car which can pay and collect money safely and conveniently on the go. Several thousand vehicles in Europe already have this solution and pay at petrol stations or toll booths and move in real time. Blockchain technology guarantees the security of digital payments. Car Wallet can also build a bridge between our technologies in electric mobility and customer experience, especially in BEF and PHEV. After all, Customers expect convenient, automated, and secure applications. Car wallet can, for example, be used to automate and thus significantly simplify payment at e-charging points. Or conversely, energy from the battery can be sold to electricity providers. With PHEVs, incentives for preferred driving in electric mode are conceivable in addition to automated mobility transactions. With such user-friendly solutions, digitalization acts as a turbo for electromobility and accelerates its market penetration that we are looking for. 
So as you can see, from hardware and software to new business models, thanks to digitalization, connectivity and networking, at ZF we are continuing to set the pace for the field of electromobility. Our goal is be strong in next generation mobility and it is clean, safe and above all electric. Thank you for listening and now I'm looking forward to your questions which my colleagues and I will be happy to answer in a minute. Thank you.